This week we celebrate 200 episodes of the Dan Nichols Show on Supersport, brought to you in partnership with Bride Truck. And normally for such an auspicious occasion, we'd be popping champagne, setting off fireworks, and celebrating the highlights of what we've done in 14 and a half seasons to date. But given I'm currently in a cast after my paddle incident, I decided instead we'd look at the lowlights, the misadventures that we've had on the show. And when I sat down with Mias and Paula from my team, it turned out that there were quite a a few, including one with somebody everyone thinks is such a lovely guy, but he's not. He's a horrible man. He's Wade Vanekirk, and when he challenged me to a race and I damaged myself in the process, all he could do was laugh. He picked up some, some good speed. Let me try and, and catch him up. And I think just before I, catch, I caught him and he ended up pulling him just a joke or, or what's going on and maybe you can make it for table tennis or something. That was not the only time I've hurt myself in the company of a star athlete, but on this occasion, the athlete himself was responsible. We filmed a promo for the show with a rather large gentleman called Dwayne Vermeulen. Now, he was supposed to basically just give me a cuddle, and that was going to be the end of things. Dwayne Vermeulen, however, had other ideas. OK? All right. It's season 12 of The Dan Nichols Show with more fantastic celebrities who love me and love my show. <laughs> that was supposed to be the dry run. <laughs> no, that's the gentle one. Do we want to? Do we want another take on it? Yeah, oh, you're good, Dan. You're good. Oh, you're good, Dan. <laughs> it was the dry run. No, it wasn't. You said go. I was timing to see. That's the perfect <laughs> timing. That was perfect timing. Uh, I don't even think you need to do it again, Dan. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dwayne is a hard man, but if you're talking about hard men from South Africa, one person sits top of the list, and that would be a guy called Mike Horn. I've done some stupid things in my life, but agreeing to go ski off piste with Mike Horn, that's probably the stupidest thing I will ever do. Ah. Oh. 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 So, I've just fallen about 30 feet down a mountain. I think it's fair to say <laughs> I'm not in my comfort zone. Now, if going skiing with Mike Horn is something you could have told me in advance would be dangerous, and yes, I should have known better, going out for a meal at a lovely little restaurant in Cape Town with a famed athlete, well, that sounds a lot gentler. But when the athlete in question is Haley Gebra Selassie, and he's got something up his sleeve in terms of the Ethiopian food, things get a, a little more colorful. Oh. Is it very strong? Don't worry. <laughs> Tomorrow you're gonna run fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, did you try that one? <laughs> oh. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. Basically, Hayley tried to kill me by making me eat mit all mit of that. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Mit mit Metmita. Metmita is an Ethiopian word for give this to tourists and then laugh at them after they've finished eating it. And most of my misfortunes over the last seven and a half years around television have come on The Dan Nichols Show. But sometimes our show leads into somebody else's show. And on this occasion, Rian Mansa, the adventurer, phoned me up and asked him if I'd join him for his show on the Discovery Channel. How it sounded quite gentle. A little bit of go-karting. With Rian Mansa, though, nothing is ever going to be gentle. <laughs> yes, he's taking it to the limit. Look at this. Dan's OK, but the car's not. <laughs> Our friendly competition had turned into a crash scene, and we were fortunate to have the first aid and support on hand to treat Dan's bruises and scratches. I mean, I don't know, Bucky's boater 
you wouldn't even be able to do this to a go-kart steering wheel. What about a day out in the Winelands with Mark Lottering and Bob Skinstad? Surely that can only be great fun. Well, it would be unless Bob and Mark had decided that before we went to the Winelands, we'd do some shark cage diving instead. Oh God, I can just leave here. It's a little tiff for my team broker. These are probably my last words. Okay. Are there any sharks close by? I think I might have missed him, I'll hit it. <laughs> uh, it is quite unnerving when you see that shark for the first time. It's enormous, very scary. Time with Ron Rutland is usually fun. He's a great friend of the show, the man who cycled all over the world to various Rugby World Cups, and he's roped me in from time to time. I should say no, but for some reason I say yes, and when it came to cycling in Laos, it's something I'm still regretting. I barely feel my legs, what I can feel I don't like, and the same applies to my bottom. I'm starting to suspect my saddle is carved out of granite. This is a really, really fun day. Also in Asia, a trip to Bangkok. That was also with Ron Rutland for the Bangkok Tens, where we decided to go out and explore the city. What we weren't expecting was to go racing into oncoming traffic in tuk-tuks. So we're driving along, it doesn't feel too fast and it feels reasonably safe, but I suspect I might have a false sense of security here at the moment. I think we've somehow found ourselves in the middle of the tuk-tuk Grand Prix of Bangkok. I'm not sure these things can go any faster. A little closer to home, and this was both nerve-wracking, but also one of the most entertaining inserts we've ever shot, where I took Lawrence Britton, the Olympic silver medalist, and Jason Goliath, who doesn't belong anywhere near any ocean-going vestal, popped them into a couple of canoes as we decided to go for a day out in Soweto. <laughs> I'm literally wearing this thing like a pair of tights. <laughs> I'm not in, I'm, I'm on. I'm on, I'm on the canoe. Not gonna be pretty out there, I don't think. A lot of the challenges you've seen so far this evening have been about me getting into some sort of trouble. But there have been occasions where it's our guests who've struggled a little more, such as the time we went synchronised swimming with KG, one of my favourite comedians, who'd neglected to tell us uh, that he can't actually swim. <laughs> So, just one minor challenge is that KG has many talents. Unfortunately, swimming is not one of them. Uh, so, we're just hoping to get through today without a fatality. Oh, I can swim, I just don't want to do it like now. That's it. Go, go. Good love serving. <laughs> Amazing TV. <laughs> a little earlier, you saw the tackle that I took from Dwayne Vermeulen. It was a painful experience, but I've arguably been hit even harder by someone with a reputation for rather ferocious tackles. It wasn't what I was expecting when I went on holiday to Mauritius with Butch James. So there's a selection of some of the low lights, some of the misadventures I've had through our 200 episodes of The Dan Nichols Show. But whatever I've got up to, whatever hasn't been overly comfortable or pleasant, has been for a greater good because, gee, it has been an extraordinary journey and I've loved just about every single minute of it. <laughs> 
past myself. I'm uh, still going okay. I'm still fairly strong, and we've almost done the first kilometre. Watch this in slow motion. It's too fast for normal cameras. <laughs> oh, the court's over this way. Do we need to make the court bigger down this end for you? <laughs> I think I know who the bookies are back. Justin! I would love you guys to do some jumping jacks for me now. Too hot. To get out. <laughs> I don't know from training to be a jockey or an adult movie star. <laughs> Oh, my God. 